What's up? This is Gunslinger with HaloWars.com. Today I'd like to bring you another community match. Uh, today's gameplay is going to be coming from Shostak and his team Organized Confusion on Pit CTF. Capture the flag. Looks like Shostak and his team will be spawning on the blue side. Now he's going to make a push here for rockets. Pushes forward pretty hard and is able to grab the rockets. Someone in that which is surprising. His team does a, does a very good job there securing the rockets, and it looks like they'll push through the long haul to maybe uh, get an early play cap here. Flag taken. Nice prediction on the uh, the spawner there as he takes down RN wrong. Beast. Looks like Flag he'll be escorting taken. his teammate back here through Long Haul to maybe secure the cap. Flag drop. Looks like the, the other team did spawn over uh, probably a quarter side. And uh, that, that did backfire as they uh, organized confusion didn't really have anybody watching uh, the, the flank there. Has a sniper bullet placed right past his ear there. And he is taken down by some people pushing through Long Haul. Uh, I'm not sure if this might be a dead flag or not. Uh, it looks like the other team's pushing hard, but if they can focus them down, uh, maybe. maybe uh, uh, push Take forward and, uh, and get, the, get the other team push back to their own spawn. Yep, that's what they're able to do there. Securing the cap, nice shots uh, off spawn there by Shostik. Securing the cap. Looks like he's gonna get some help here on the, the opponent on uh, his other team's training pit. Pushes forward and pins up the kill. Uh, some steady shots there. Nice job. At this point, it looks like he's content to stay on the other team's side and keep putting shots on. Unfortunately, he does get sniped. Uh, he doesn't realize where, uh, where the opponent is. But that's alright. His, his team still has three up. Looks like they're doing a, a pretty heavy training side push here, which is... Uh, it's not exactly common, but I guess it can work, you know, if, if it's executed pr properly. Two down here for uh, organized confusion. Shoxvik, it looks like he's just gonna stay alive here, waiting for his teammates to be with him. Good shots there, and he's able to clean up the opponent with a melee. Pushing through a long haul here with, with a teammate, that's, that's always a good decision. Making sure that you have help. Uh, uh, your killer pushes up pretty hard there, uh, not a smart decision by him. Aggressive play here by Shostak, who cleans up the guy in the, the other team's flag. flag taken. That's a, that's a good spawn for the other team. They get a spawn over there, Needles, when uh, that's exactly where Shostak was going to run it. Uh, I predict this, uh, this is going to be a dead flag here. Uh, let's see if the other team is able to uh, you know, so secure the flag area and keep more guys confusion on spawn. Reset. Yep, that is a dead flag. However, this aggression by Organized Confusion looks like it is paying off now, as uh, once again, uh, they're, they're pushing pretty hard into the base. Assisted by Shostik, uh, the other guy's still uh, sitting there, trying to, to, to get some shots on and uh, see what he can do to prevent this aggression from uh, causing another play cap. Good shots there by, uh, by Shostik. Takes down your killer once again. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, that rocket guy. That, that is an embarrassing play. Double kill. That's a montage. If, if you can have a, a double kill in a montage, that's how it has to be. Completely embarrassing somebody like that. Uh, and then with a routine rocket play. Nice, oh my goodness. Does Shostik have the best rockets in the game? I'm, I'm pretty sure he does. That was a ridiculous direct, direct impact rocket from across the map, almost. He, does, he is taken down, however, uh, and his team does have two members down. Looks like uh, another one's taken down here. However, they're just streaming members uh, of their team into the other team's base. And uh, he wants to get embarrassing store killer with some, some amazing shots there. Looks like they're doing the training side push here. Uh, they catch the guy on the other team on the uh, S1. He is taken down by some uh, concentrated fire there. Uh, he doesn't go down without a without a fight though. He uh, gets an assist there. And let's see if it's he's able to, to take advantage of the shots he put down. Another member's taken down. Some pre-shooting there. He's able to 
will clean up the kill. Nice uh, communication with his team. Uh, he was told that there was a guy right there, and he uh, he kills him. Almost saves himself. He doesn't, however. Our enemies finally get some nice shots, and uh, uh, prevents shots from just completely embarrassing everyone on their team. He gets a core spawn, but he's gonna uh, try to try to focus on the long haul side. The long haul and green pushes tend to be more successful in uh, on pit, especially in CTF. Cleans up his own kill there, and he's gonna push forward. He's being very aggressive. Like he's uh, a lot of times you'll see teams uh, just, just focus on getting the kills first, and then uh, once the other teams all four down, then they'll uh, pull the flag. But it looks like uh, organized confusion's just they're, they're just ready to go. They want to capture some flags. So what they do is they, they have one guy who says, "Hey, you know, I got this kill. Go ahead and pull it." And uh, instead of wasting time finishing kills, um, they uh, they just go ahead and get they just go ahead and pull it. There was a slight flag juggle there, but oh my god, what a stick. He is on fire this game. He's able to secure the flag, uh, keep, keep holding the flag rather for, for his own team. Nice times for there from Dianetic and nice shots there from his other teammate to secure another cap and then you go 2 0 here. And just a reminder uh, on, uh, on Pit CTF in, in Halo Reach, it's, it's the first of five caps rather than three caps. Uh, it's just the way that the, um, I believe MLG set it up. They, they believe that with with the game speed, with with how the, how the game game pad plays, uh, it was it was better to have it be a five cap a game type rather than a three cap game type. Nice shots there. Gets a, an amazing lead through. Triple kill. Oh, can he get the over? Where's it at? Oh, not quite. He uh, he saw the flash on the screen of the other guy in trading there. But uh, he wasn't able to turn around in time to, to finish the kill for the for what would have been a nasty overkill. Regardless, though, he gets the triple, and uh, that, that means obviously that the other team has three members down. Some crazy aggression there uh, from the opponent on his training. Oh, it looks like he was uh, rocking the rockets there and. Uh, and the sniper and sword. It's a very questionable decision by the uh, by the opponent there. On a map like Pit, where uh, where it's so large, you you really do want to spread out the power weapons if possible, and uh, that's that's what Shasti was doing there, allowing his teammate to, to get a sniper rifle. And I'm not sure how much damage you can do from sword, uh, especially with rockets and Pit, because it's so uh, so far away from the rest of the map in some ways. Um, and it's kind of somewhat isolated. It is going to be difficult for uh, for certain players, uh, for any player, to to, to utilize uh, the, the sword to its to its full potential. If it was Slayer, you know, where, where all you have to do is just pick off kills the entire game, uh, it's it's still it's still not like ideal, but it, but it can be somewhat somewhat more effective uh, than it would be in, in CTF. Some more great shots, barely missing out on the triple there. He is just you know just wrecking the other team, not missing hardly any shots. Doesn't it, isn't able to get a, a sniper there, but uh, regardless, the other team is still on spawn. That's a, it's a 3 0 for uh, organized confusion. Waiting for the spawners there, gets the call out of the guy over in court. Drops over to S1. Oh, he's, he's, he wants this camo guy. He wants him bad. Unfortunately, he gets some tunnel vision there, and uh, an opponent's able to lift up onto uh, to the tower there, and he takes down uh, Shasta. That's one thing uh, about the new pit that can be somewhat frustrating at times, is that, you know, back in Halo 3 on pit, the lift over there uh, up to Snipe Tower made a very distinctive noise. You knew when someone was coming up behind you, if you uh, had even a decent headset. Uh, unfortunately, in Reach, there's not really much of a way to tell if you're getting flanked. I guess dropped on from uh, effective placebo. Let's see how the, the red teams get some pretty consistent spawns over in their own court here. 
which is definitely the type of thing that uh, you know, organized the region wants. If you can keep the other team spawning in court, they're not really able to do much off spawn because uh, pulling, pulling the flag over to long haul and green side is, is certainly a shorter than, than going all the way around trainings uh, into your flag. And then uh, if the other team is holding in court, they have to walk all the way across the map over to, to this area, yeah, the long haul and green side area. And uh, it's they, they just don't have as much of a chance to stop the flag. If they're able to get a touch on this flag, they probably should be able to cap it as the spawners keep coming. Amazing shots there. I'm not sure how he did it, but he did finish off that kill. Unfortunately, the flag did reset. So we'll just have to, to regroup and, uh, and push again. He gets some great shots from the tower guy, unfortunately. His teammate isn't able to get the cleanup. Once again, taking down RN Beast, he gets some nice bleed through. Looks like you're at Leanda Roja. That's the place of Halo. At this point, Organized Confusion appears to be having some issues with the other team uh, being on uh, being on their own side, and they, they just don't want to be be caught by un be caught unaware rather, and uh, uh, be taken down by itself by, by, some, by a flank. Flag taken. Flag stolen. Shots is doing a great job here, watching the flag. Um, and the, the other team, that, that's that's a dead flag. That's not gonna get them anywhere. Shasta did leave his own guy, however, and he, uh, that causes his teammate to be taken down. Great stick there, he is on fire with these stickies. It appears, yeah, both flags reset there, so it's gonna be a, a fresh start. Nice nade there by Shasta. <laughs> Once again, you know, he doesn't get the kills, but. Uh, he, even though he whips him on melee there, he's, his teammates are able to clean up the kill, giving shots like an assist, and once again, you know, he's, he's gonna have some crazy, crazy numbers this game, with all the kills and assists he's getting. It's not about the numbers though, it's about the win, and, uh, overall he also has been, uh, in a, in a position for his team to, uh, do some great things for most of the game. Flag taken. And this guy has to be scared for his life right now. Flag There we go. Rocket from Shotstick taking down the, uh, the opponent and securing the play gap once again. Nice snipe there. Uh, he gets the spawner in court. Flag stolen. He knows the flag's coming out. Gets the body shot to clean up the kill. Nice job for the killing spree. He realizes there's a spawner over in Mauler. Isn't able to get the kill, but he's able to keep him in his spawn. And if, uh, if you're on the other side of the map and you're able to keep the other team in their spawn, that's almost as good as getting kills because when you do fi uh, finally uh, find an opening to push through, you know where they're going to be at. And, and if you can just keep putting shots on uh, and pre preventing them from pushing out aggressively, um, you're going to be set because you'll, you'll have an advantage by knowing uh, where, the, where the opponents are and it, it should lead to, to some easy kills. Nice snipe there. Flag taken. Flag dropped. Flag taken. Should get the assist there on RN Beast. Unfortunately, he didn't get the kill. But uh, if his teammates are uh, are able to push in here and uh, get the cleanup kills on, on the entire team that's just just stuck there in the mauler, uh, it could be a cap. No, it does reset. But uh, all the all the other team is, is all, all in one place. If they play this correctly, which uh, so far Shostak is doing, they could they could have a cap out of it. Nice job listening to the call out there, getting the cleanup kill. However, our enemy does clean up Shostak uh, before they're able to get the flag remaining. out of the base. One minute left. Uh, it looks like at this point with the 4 LD, there's not gonna, not really much that the, the red team can do. Organized confusion. Plus a great game here. Uh, great, great job working together as a team, forcing the other team to stay on their side. Uh, utilizing the long haul and green box pushes uh, to take them the win. R and Beast looks like the Flag only person who has Shostak's uh, Shostak's number this game. Flag stolen. Thirty seconds remaining. Flag drop. Thirty seconds left, and uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't appear as if the red team's gonna get on the board. They have a flag out here. Uh, but some nice teamwork here. Uh, shots to get his teammate are able to, uh, to stop the flag. Oh, that's, that was strange. I thought that was a kill. I heard the melee. Ten seconds Gotta love that, uh, online gameplay. They have the last rockets here. Oh, he's taken on by a sniper shot. Fortunately, it doesn't matter. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This has been Gunslinger with HaloWars.com. Uh, nice job here by Shostak. Uh, he plays a great game on, uh, on Pit CTF with his team, Organized Confusion. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.